Hi, I just talked to a nice woman named Girlie. Girlie has a 13 week old pit bull puppy named Blue who already has some strange tendencies around food. He gets too excited around his food and treats and once you give it to him, he tries to protect it. This is called resource guarding and it can happen with food or toys. It can get serious and if it's allowed to grow with the puppy. So I'm going out to their home to see what I can do about it. It's a pretty normal example of a puppy lesson where we work on sit, down, name recognition, and create a positive association with the come command. I thought everybody loves a puppy, so why not bring you along? It's nice to meet you, sweetheart. Hello, 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 hello. So, you might want to stand up. There you go. Hi. Hi. You, you like food? Do you like food? Okay. So, I'm going to show you a bunch of things today. Um, some of the things that I'm going to show you are how to communicate more clearly with this puppy who does not speak English. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a bit of a language barrier and we want to communicate. So the thing is, is when, when the puppy's doing something right, it's really easy to communicate. Yay, Blue, what a good boy, huh? He's a good boy with a high pitched voice. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the squealing happiness that they make at the dog park, right? The high pitch. Mm -hmm. But then when Blue is doing something wrong, and I'm sure he's bound to do a, an occasional wrong thing, um, we're going to correct him or let him know that we don't appreciate that behavior um, so that he might be able to make smarter decisions quickly um, to figure out like what is okay and what is not okay. This is, are you guys familiar with this shake can? No. So, ah, 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 ah. no, he doesn't care about that at all. Okay, so this is the pet corrector and good, good, you're okay. You know some personal space, some space, some space. Good. Uh, uh, uh. So you hear me making the growling noise at the same time mm -hmm. when I do the shocking message. So Pavlov did all these studies of associated responses and found out that if I do something shocking along with my voice at the same time, pretty soon I can get rid of this. I never have to buy another one. And mm -hmm. my voice means something to Blue. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Blue will... And Blue will... Um, listen to me even when I don't have these tools around. So, ah, no. Hmm? Ah, sit. So, good sit. So, sit is really easy. You're just kind of backing their nose up into the sit position mm -hmm. and releasing the treat. What a good sit. A down is a little harder. You're going to go straight down to the ground and out just enough for the legs to stretch out all the time what a good down what a good down what a good down and these two are some of your most basic commands sit and down mm -hmm. um down is the most submissive thing that you could ask a dog to do so in my opinion it's probably the most important obedience command mm -hmm. um you're asking them to take a submissive position and asking them to hold it is doing a stay, and that's basically asking them to completely trust you, let it all go. They don't have to a care in the world, right? If the sky falls, we're gonna jump on top of them. Um, we don't ever want this little guy to think that he needs to protect us or that he needs to protect the house um, or that he has a big job like that. We would rather have him know that his job is really just to cooperate with us to mm -hmm. take some direction from us and to trust us that we'll handle everything mm -hmm. that he doesn't need to uh, worry about a thing mm -hmm. huh blue huh oh you are cute you are yeah so tell me about you've only spent what a week with him two weeks two now. weeks two today. weeks now yeah i mm know -hmm. so you're definitely in love no doubt about it but uh what 
well, tell me about how those two weeks have been. Where are you struggling? Um, <clears throat> I think it's just, you know, stay, staying put. Um, what, what else? Oh, just probably just, you know, just following commands, staying put. Um, him maybe when we because sometimes we we try to go through a routine we put him I feed him or something we put him in the garage and scratch on the door and he wants okay. to get on out and things like that and sometimes he'll run in places we don't want him to <laughs> like okay. up either upstairs if he gets the opportunity or, or on the go. on the other floor uh, in the other living room yeah which we're trying not to get him to really go there. Um, and just getting getting excited when uh, you know he needs to learn how to wait when we're getting his food because we okay. can't even put it down without him trying to. I'm gonna it. put a little collar on him. This is a little martingale collar. He's hyper. And so that I can put a leash on him. He does this when he wants you to keep petting him. <laughs> yeah, and he's insistent, huh? Well, they all have their ways of being insistent. In fact they give us commands mm -hmm. all day long every day they tell us to pet them or to pay attention to them or to play toys with them or whatever I, no more he's learned no um I, pretty well hi no no drop good good drop it good drop it so when you have a puppy this size you can pick them up upside down and basically tell how dominant they are by nature. It's kind of cool. The more fight you get, the more dominant they are. So he's really not fighting it too much. He really doesn't possess that much dominance by nature, which is good for, for this breed um, because they're already a little bit stubborn and bully uh, mm -hmm. sometimes. So if you have one that's not too dominant, that's good. Blue. Come over here. Are you saying he's not that? He's could... not. Okay. He's not. He just kind of melts like butter right when I turn yes. him over. Yeah. You're going to lay down. Good down. Good down. And he's, um, now, you know, like I said, he's learned to know. So when, when he's trying to go on the couch now, and he just looks at us first, and we're like, no, and he doesn't. He's smart. He might have a little slip up, but he hasn't lately. Well, yeah. this is the other thing I was about to tell you is that, so I'm doing a little bit of temperament testing. I'm kind of checking out what's under the hood mm -hmm. <laughs> of your gotcha. puppy. And, uh, and he's smart. So going from a lay down to a sit is actually advanced obedience. It's not, it's not easy. There's some labs or, or that will just sit there and stare at the tree. He, he goes right up, sit he figures it right out so he's smart um does he know his name really well he's we just um, gave him he didn't yeah. have a name but he's starting to know it. he had no name oh no oh no Ron, you didn't have a name okay but your name is blue it's blue who's blue who's blue it's blue it's you so basically what we'll do is we'll start to play this little game we'll go in the backyard no. So he's a little relentless, huh? Like correction resistant? Sometimes, Sometimes. yeah. Huh? He's a little bit. Yeah. Good boy. So this collar. Ah, ah. Ah. Good boy. Good boy. Will let us correct him a little bit. But let's get some of this energy out. I want to show you a game that I like to play. I call it Blue Cum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And what, what it does is it teaches him his name, name mm -hmm. recognition, as well as the come command. So too many times people make the mistake of only calling the dog to come when it's time to leave the dog park or the dog's in trouble or they're going in their kennel. And then the dog quickly starts to realize that come is not something they want to do anymore. Mm -hmm. So then they start fighting you on the subject. So what I like to do when they're babies like this and you have a blank slate is to start making a real positive association with the come command and their name so we'll go in the backyard and i'll give you guys some treats and we will um call him to come to us and we will teach him his name pretty quickly watch no. yeah yeah 
Yeah, it's okay. Blue. Come. Good come. Good come. Good blue. Good blue. So now you call him? Blue, come. Come. Come blue. So good blue, good, good come. Blue. Good blue. Good come. Good come. Hey, blue. <gasps> blue. Good boy. Good come. Good blue. Are you blue? Good come. Good come. Blue. Blue come. Blue come. Make some kind of noise and maybe squat down. Yeah. That's my favorite. Uh-oh. <laughs> there you go. It does look like the Sometimes the hardest part is getting their attention at first. And then pretty soon it gets easier and easier. Blue, are you blue? Are you coming? Good come, blue. Good come, blue. Good come, blue. He's awful cute, right? He is. So, so go ahead. Oh, he's... already just he made the decision to come to you tell him what a good come just keep enforcing that coming to you is a good thing now the smarter the puppy the quicker they start to anticipate which means they will just start to run back and forth like gangsters mm -hmm. right thinking i i got that i got this i know what i'm doing i'm running back and forth and steal their food yeah that's not the game so when he comes to you like a gangster and you didn't call him I want the other person to go again. So it's the other person's turn to go again. So he never gets anything, not even a pat on the head, unless he's responding to blue cup. Okay. So he's over here looking for my food. It's your turn. Blue cup. 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 Oh, blue, come. Good blue, good come, good come. Now you see me give him a little pet. At the same time, I give him a treat because eventually we're not going to give him a treat. We're going to give him a little pet. Okay. But I treat for what's challenging for the puppy. So if they're learning something new, if they're trying to figure something out, if something is very hard for them to do, that's when I pull out the treats. But good girl, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So I always repeat everything. Good sit, good stay, good come. Why not? If, especially if you're sticking food in their mouth. Yeah. Why not repeat the word that you're trying to teach them? Blue, come. Blue. Blue, come. Blue, come. Blue. Squat all the way down. Blue. Blue, come. Good sit. Blue, come. So sometimes you have to give them a little physical cue to get them okay. to come over to you. Blue come. Yep. Blue come. Blue come. Sit. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Good he's pretty good at that sit. Good yeah, sit. he's learned it quick. Good sit. Let's try it down. Here, blue. You want to sit? Yeah, that's what we need to do. Okay, let's down. Down. There you go. That's a good down. That's a good down. 
that's a group down. Hey, you know what? That's a stay. That's a stay. Yeah, you're doing it. Stay. That's a good lay down. Huh? Okay. It yeah, stays a tough one. Okay, Boo. Uh, you know what? And they really can't get it fully until they're like four months old. Okay. Like their attention span. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that's... much. Good boy. That's a good lay down. That's a good lay down. That's a good lay down. Blue. Come, come, come. Sit. Oh, you lay down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Oh, good boy. Sometimes you you kind of put your hand right here because yeah. well, they're they're behind. When their nose goes down, their behind gets up. Uh huh. Can you roll it over? Yay! Yay! You're gonna be a circus dog. Good boy. Good down. Good down. Good down. So now, is he playing fetch at all? Or is he ball? Yeah. Can you go get it? Or are you going to bring it back? Okay. You want to bring it back? Put it like this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. You're not going to pick it up even? This one. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. So the nicest way to teach a puppy the words drop it mm -hmm. are playing a little fetch game. So if you can get him to pick it up, then, uh, and, and you can trade him and you can say drop it while he has it in his mouth. And inevitably they will. They're like, I have a mouth full of ball and I want to eat that treat. So um, they will drop it every time. And that's how you can teach them the words drop it so mm -hmm. that when you're out walking him and he like picks something up that he's not supposed to have or he's got a rock in his mouth or something you can ask him to drop it and he'll know um, what you mean. Sometimes if you get a smaller ball that squeaks. So he can have a ball that small? Sure. For a while. <laughs> you gonna get it? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Here you go. Drop it, drop it. Good, drop it. Good, drop it. Oh, it's more valuable than the other one, huh? Or maybe if you get one this size, but it squeaks. Squeaks better? They love it. Yeah. You just love me to have it, I think. Good boy. Good boy, come over here. Drop it, good drop it. Let's try this one. What is it? You don't like this one no more? Chase it. Yay! You gonna drop it? Drop it. Good, drop it. Good, drop it. So, you get the idea? It's valuable, it's valuable, it's valuable. Woo! Go! Come here, come, come, come. Good, drop it. So, it becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. And you don't need the treats anymore. You get the idea. It, it, this is uh, the nicest way to teach them those words. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Good boy. Good drop it. Um, also, you're going to kind of walk him around the house and kind of show him what he can have. Drop it. Good drop it. What he can have and what he can't have. Um, using like the pet corrector, you know, kind of when he grabs something he's not supposed to have, you give him a message. Uh, this is a, is it, no, this is a ultrasonic noise beeper, and the idea is that it's the same kind of thing. I use instinctual corrections, so it means that you're kind of using your senses against them, their sense of hearing, smell, taste, all of that stuff. What a good sit. Yeah, you're just good at sit. Huh? Are we gonna lay down? Down. Down. No. No. Sit. Down. Good down. Good down. Good down. Oh yes. Oh yes. Let me get that coming. Oh, that's a good down. Where did he get?
like those the, the green eyes? Yeah. Blue. Blue, is that you? Good blue. Good. Okay, so right here. Uh 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 uh. Can you move it? Can you move it right there? Can you move it? Are you right? Ah. Ah. Oh, he, he cares a little bit. Good, leave it. Good boy. Good, leave it. Okay, okay. Good boy. Um, I'd like for you to do that kind of thing when you're feeding them, too. You know, um, set it down, sort of drive him away a little bit, ask him to have a little respect for you and the, the thing that you're doing with his food. Um, how is the pie training going? Sounds or something? It's a high pitch frequency, yeah, yeah, so they can hear it and they don't love it. So it's kind of like the can has pennies in it. A lot of dogs don't like the noise, mm -hmm. so it keeps them from doing what something they're doing. If they don't like the noise. Right. Okay. So it's a way to distract them and sort of get their attention and tell them no. So this thing will cost you 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. But it just takes batteries, so you just keep putting batteries in and it'll last you like the whole time. Two, uh, that's wrong. So, um, and then the commands are just somewhere in between, right? Sit down, sort of matter of fact. It does have um, nice. But you are giving... Come here, Blue. Okay, wait. Let's leave it. Uh-uh. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Nope. No. Oh, Blue. Okay. 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 So, he likes squeaky stuff. They all do, huh? Yes. He they like squeaky stuff. Yeah. Hi, Blue. Oh, yeah. Hi, Blue. Hi, Blue. Hi. This collar that I have on him, it's called a martingale collar, mm -hmm. and it has it has the choke chain in mind when they designed it, but it doesn't close all the way, so it's sort of safeguarded from choking your dog. <clears throat> but it does give them a little hello, remember me, I'm on the other end of this leash, or hello, stop biting me. You know, um, sometimes what you do is you have a dog that's sort of resistant to the regular corrections. You will um, put a little training collar on them and put what I, it's called a tab, like a little, a little handle where you could just grab it and go up. Don't do 